Now the story of an idea that didn't quite work out the first time, and the one ex-girlfriend hell-bent on making sure that it fails again. It's Sandy's last-ditch effort. The heat was on. Who turned the heat on? Do you know how f***ing hot it is outside? And Sandy Birkins was in the middle of rehearsing for her new show. From the top. Beginning. <laughs> Middle. End. Past. Present. Future. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny, Terrence. I'm sorry, but that guy, he cracks me up. <laughs> he is saving the show as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Starting over. We don't have it right until Terrence takes us seriously. But he laughs at everything. Oh, all the more reason for him to be in our audience. Brian Grazier's coming tonight. We need to make sure there's not a single dry eye in the house. Now make Terrence cry. <laughs> oh my god! They, they had to put my dog down! You gotta see this picture! Oh my god, the needle! His face is like, what's going on? Boom! <laughs> Action! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I have to take this. It's my agent. I'm trying to get old for days. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Hello? Are you, are you sure you can't hear me? Because you're clear as a bell. Lyle, I have a special mission for you if you're up to it. Oh, you know, I'm the Josh Hartnett to your Ben Affleck, madam. Lyle was Sandy's most trusted underling. He had even agreed to play an entire hotel staff in a previous episode where Sandy tried to convince Paul that she owned a casino. What time is it? It is 3.30 and 15 seconds. 25 seconds till they need to see the cocktail waitress. You need to calm yourself down. You're gonna get overexcited. Overexcited? This is the role of a lifetime! Cocktails, you do I have no doubt that Paul will be here tonight to intercept our guest. Paul? That slippery bastard. Wait, do we love him or do we hate him? Hate him. Yes, we hate Paul, that slippery bastard. Right, I need you to make sure that Paul gets lost on the way. I shall give him inaccurate directions. You will kidnap Paul. Kidnap Paul. Paul. Believe I lost him again? Is it bars in here? Is it... it says I have full bars. Hello? Robert. Robert. Yes, I see him. It's him all right. And he's looking very fat. Very fat indeed. Just like you wanted it, my queen. Well, make sure it's him. He has a twin. Call his phone. I've got you now. <laughs> So Sandy proceeded to wait for confirmation. And when it finally came... Yes, I've got it all. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Just waiting for the show to start. Well, hey, I'll wait with you. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen Lyle? We're like 15 minutes from Curtin. He isn't back yet? No. Also, Paul is here. What? <gasps> oh, gross. You always drink so fast. We still love him. No, we don't. We hate him. Voicemail with jazz hands. Lyle, would you like to tell me where the hell you are and why my ex is here? Oh! Oh, hey, 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 baby, baby, what's wrong? Terrence, everything. Well, you then bring it into Terrible. He'll make it all better. <laughs> oh, Terrible, Bear, you get me. I do. <laughs> now you listen, this show is going to be great. The show was a disaster. Yay! Yay! Come to me! Nay, away from you is where I must flee. I'm supposed to stop. Oh no! An invisible wall! Though to his credit, Robert really did sell the ending. And then there it was. The pit of my father's cherry. 
found it after all this time. It reminded me of better times. Of summer. Shut up, Robert. It's over. Play's over! So when Sandy prepared to face the judgment of Hollywood superpower Brian Grazer, she was relieved to see a familiar face instead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this you coming on to me? Because that would be fantastic. No, I'm just... I'm really glad you're not someone else. I think that's the best compliment I've ever received. And moments later, Sandy would get the best compliment she'd ever received. Oh, and seriously, Sandy, great job tonight, okay? <laughs> On the next, Paul Getz's Last Ditch Effort. I'm the kidnapper now. If you want your man back, you must give me $17. What is that? Sandy finds a new weapon of choice.